Hi, I'm Lou Mancuso, the Landing Doctor. Why did we choose Bristel? The Bristel is a great airplane, comfortable, fast, sexy, just supported by wonderful people, Milan Bristeller and his family in the Czech Republic. One thing is we offer four different choices of engine, the 100 horse carbureted ULS, the 100 horse fuel injected, which is called IS sport engine with fuel injection. We offer the carbureted 80 horse in a turbo version, which makes it 114 horse. And now we have the 915, which is 141 horse with a turbocharger and an intercooler. So the cruise speeds range from 135 miles an hour all the way up to 170 miles an hour. And they still meet the light sport category. One of the things that's wonderful about this Bristow is we have a steerable nose wheel with dual steering cables up in here that control the turning of the nose wheel. So if you were to lose a brake, you still have control of a plane on landing because you have your steering. We have various props we use. They come standard with a feedy prop. This is the Duke carbon fiber prop, which is wonderful. Picks up a couple of knots in addition. The modern Rotax engine is the cornerstone of the light sport program, but the installation that Milan Bristella does on our engines, our engines are smoother and run better than the Rotax engine in other light sport planes. The Rotax engine is the modern engine. It has stators instead of alternators, so there's no alternator to break, no alternator belt to break, no alternator bracket to break. There's no ring gear to rust and a bendix spring to hang up. The starter is located in the back of the engine. The carbureted planes are dual carbureted located on the top and the back of the engine, so you don't get carburetor ice in a Rotax engine. And you have two carburetors, not one, so you have the redundancy of the carburetor. And then the fuel injected one has an electronic control unit that monitors the fuel and manages the engine. You don't have magnetos to break or overhaul. You have electric starting packs. So that's another great feature of the Bristel. And those are some of the reasons why Bristel. Hi, I'm Lou Mancuso, the Landing Doctor, and this is Why Bristel Part 2. As you can see here, this is a knack event, and this knack event forces air in, and then we have four inch vents inside to make cooling just delightful. The canopy is amazing. It's one of the best vis visibility I've ever seen. I feel safer in a Bristel than any plane. It has an opaque top to keep the sun off of you, and you can see forward and across the wing when you get in and out. The Bristel is one of the strongest light sport planes. It has a 157 VNE, velocity never exceed. And part of the reason it gets that is the wing extends 14 inches from the fuselage. So when you get in the plane, you're stepping on 032 heavy duty aluminum and you're not gonna have wing repairs in 15 years because you don't step on the wing, you step on the spar. Then it attaches here below this fairing to very massive attach bolts, and that also helps get its 157 VNE. It has wing lockers on each side. They hold 44 pounds, and there's custom bags. If it fits in the bag, it fits in the locker. So you don't have weight and balance issues because all your heavy stuff goes in the wing. Even though they're cherry pop rivets, they're all filled. There's 3,400 rivets all filled with an epoxy, sanded and painted, so it gives the look of a Bonanza and not a light sport plane. The landing gear is made out of carbon fiber and it's laminated, so it's a torsion give and it makes crosswind landings smoother. The tires are unique in that we have Behringer tires and brakes, they're tubeless tires and brakes, and they have anti-lock, anti-skid features standard fuel drain then we come to the fuel tanks they're 16 gallons aside and because the bristel has significant dihedral 
there's only two tenths of a gallon in unusable fuel. As you can see, 158 usable on a 16 gallon tank. So with 32 gallons of gas, you have almost eight hours of endurance at a low power setting. The next thing is the Bristel doesn't have an alternator. It has a stator and we use all LED bulbs to have lo very low draw. So even though it only produces 18 amps, it's plenty to carry the landing lights, the nav lights, the strobe lights, and operate the radios. As we come around here, we have LED strobe lights. Here's a feature you'll only see on more expensive planes. We have a piano hinge on our aileron and elevator. That's the most expensive, best hinge you can have. And then another unique feature that you would typically only find on a $600,000 Mooney Ovation is the steering is not controlled with cables but with push rods. So it has push rod controls for the ailerons and the elevator. The flaps go all the way to 30 degrees and there's four attach points on the flap. You enter easily with an entrance step from the rear. Fit and finish, as you can see, is beautiful. This is a COM antenna, a COM antenna, nav antenna, GPS antenna. You have an elevator and a horizontal stabilizer and an elevator, uh, static uh, ports. Again, piano hinge for the elevator and a piano hinge for the electric elevator trim. There's also aileron trim as an option. The rudder is made out of carbon fiber. Milan uses expensive carbon fiber on the cowling, upper, lower, rudder pedals, elevator, wherever he can to get the weight down so we enjoy a very good, useful load and payload. And that pretty much uh, concludes. Oh, one other thing is the rounded fuselage makes the Bristel more stable in rough air. Very good in rough air. And that concludes uh, part two of Bristel features and benefits.